morning, everyone. This is Frank DeMora here with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, the book that I wrote, the documentary that shows you all of the signs that the Lord told us to look for. They're actually taking place, and uh, there are very few prophecies left before uh, the tribulation begins, the seven-year tribulation. Now, many of you, where you take a look at my post, uh, you're going to see the date today is May 2010. And this specific post that I wrote was on May 31st of 2010. And it's one of many of my warnings about what was going to happen in the future based on what I know from the Bible and the warnings that Jesus Christ told us to look for. So what I'd like to do is, first of all, go there. And I'll have the link so that when you go to my website, which my brand new website is N times research ministry.com you'll be able to click that link and you'll be able to read exactly what I'm showing you here so that you'll be able to see it for yourself if you will and what I wrote back in May 31st of 2010 was this <clears throat> I gave you the scripture in Luke 21 25 and there shall be signs in the Sun right so right away what I was pointing out is look for what we're going to see as a result of the flares and the heat that's becoming from the sun. Then I put down Revelation 7 verses 15 through 17 states the following. Therefore they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in the temple, in his temple. And he who sits on the throne, and of course he that he's talking about is our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. So these, again, as I explained yesterday when I was talking about the heat uh, that we're seeing in uh, Australia and Brazil, I mentioned this scripture before and I was showing the people, but just in case you missed it yesterday, this scripture we're talking about the people who came out of the tribulation period who were suffering from the wrath of God in this particular case, it was from the effects of the sun, obviously, because the sun had scorched the earth. People became hungry because the crops were scorched as well. And so we see the Lord talking about never again are those people ever going to hunger. And never again are they going to thirst because the heat uh, would have dried up the water sources. And uh, there's going to be other plagues that will be coming down that will bitter the water as well. But these are the things that the Lord said that these people will never face again. Then he goes on to say, The sun will not beat on them, because it has been beating on them, scorching them, as the scripture says, nor any scorching heat. So it's very plain. You don't have to be a scholar to understand what the Lord is showing us. The sun is going to have a major role in the last days, affecting the people in this world. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will lead them to the springs of living water. And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation 16 verses 8 and 9 it states, And I heard, I heard the altar response, Yes, Lord God Almighty, true and just are your judgments. And the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun. And the sun was given power to scorch people with fire. So we know what to look for in the future, right? As far as what's going to happen coming from the sun. And they were uh, seared by the intense heat and they cursed in the name of God, right? So let's pay attention to what he's talking about because the Lord has warned that the sun is going to be searing this world, the people of this world, right? So... Now, who had control over these plagues? Obviously, it's the Lord Jesus Christ who has control over these things. But they refuse to repent and glorify him. So there, there are going to be people who, even after seeing all of the things that the Lord had warned, and now they're living through them, instead of coming to the Lord and repent, they refuse to do that. And obviously, it's a big mistake for these people. Now, I went on to write, Our Lord warned us that in the last days our planet would be hit by intense heat from the sun. I'm not going to engage in a debate if humans are causing global warming because to me it is a mute point. 
I know what Jesus has warned. Now, what he has warned us, and I know that the intense heat is part of the last day's birth pains. Now, if you want to know if you're brand new to Bible prophecy or my site, what I'm referring to is what Christ talked about in Mark 13:8, where he warned about the last day's signs happening as birth pangs. So there have been many articles written saying that we are heading into another ice age. And yet this is the exact opposite of what we read in Christ's warnings above. Now, since Jesus is never wrong, I can and have promised you. I mean, this isn't the first time that I've said this over the, these countless years. I've been telling the people what's going to happen in the future based on Bible prophecy, based on what the Lord has shown me. And all of his words are coming to pass. So I'm never going to be wrong because the Lord's prophecies are never uh, wrong. Everything that he says always takes place. So if you know and you're going to have to stand on the word of the Lord. You're going to have to have faith in what he says. And if you do, you're going to see his words come to fruition if we are in the last days. And every sign that shows us that we are in the last days. And so I have no problem what, is, what he's promised is going to happen because I see it happening up close and personal. So what I said is I can and have promised you that uh, you will see get this new heat records broken in the near future All right it says i think if you ask the people living in india if the sun is scorching they will agree with the above scriptures and, be, and i go on to give you some information about the scorching sun that has been affecting india now you can go and read my post i'll have that link for you but what i need to show you is was I wrong pointing to the scriptures? Was I wrong trying to get you to have faith in what Jesus talked about? Was I wrong to promise you that you were going to see more of these heat records broken in the future? There's no, no way. Not when it comes to our Savior, Jesus Christ. Not when it comes to the, our Lord God. In the Old Testament, and, and I quoted this many times in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 9, where the Lord said, I'm going to show you the things, the former things, uh, before they happen, so that when you see them, you'll know that God is true. And this is what we've been seeing. So, knowing that, let me go now, let me go over to an article that I wanted to pull up for you today. I want you to take a look at this article. And notice it says, U.S. seared... Get this, remember the scripture that I just wrote or I gave to you that the Lord talked about in Revelation that he was going to sear the earth? Get this, the U.S. seared during the hottest year on record by far. Now, here's the article. It came out on January the 8th of 2013. I didn't see this until last night when I finally had a chance to settle down and watch the news. And I'm going to play this video for you so that you can see what they said. And I'll have the link so that you can go down and read it. But they're talking about the massive uh, problems around the globe and the United States dealing with the searing heat. Exactly what the Lord has warned us. We are in the midst of these birth pangs. And I'm praying that you would believe it. Not be one of those people that the scripture talked about that I just gave you the warning. And said, no, no, I'm not going to repent. I'm not going to believe this. Check what the uh, ABC News has to say. 2012 was the hottest year in the United States since weather scientists started keeping records. And hotter not by a little but by a landslide. Tonight, ABC's Dan Harris tells us about this new report and the red flags of warning about extreme heat all across the globe. Oh well, man, this is the last you'll save your shit. The pictures coming out of Australia tonight are apocalyptic. Flames devouring homes, huge black and brown blossoms of smoke, a lone kangaroo hopping through a charred moonscape, firefighters contending with the worst possible conditions. These swirling, vicious winds. These soaring temperatures. These incredible winds are making it that much tougher for firefighters on the front line. It's so hot the government had to change its forecast maps, adding new shades of purple for temperatures possibly hitting 130 degrees. Scenes like this are becoming more common. Look at this NASA imagery showing the entire planet has gotten hotter in recent decades. 
Here in America, 2012 was not only the warmest year on record, but also the second most extreme, featuring tornadoes, wildfires, a massive drought, and of course, Superstorm Sandy. Now, I'm going to stop it there for one second because every one of those uh, problems or disasters that he just talked about, there's warnings about these things, about the heat, about the droughts, about the massive storms that were going to be coming. We see that in Luke 21, uh, 25. All of these things that are what the Lord pointed out. But let me continue. The house was there and the water pushed it all the way over here. Many cities had record warmth, including Washington, D.C., where a lack of action on man-made climate change is likely to mean 2012 is just a glimpse into an unpleasant future, according to many scientists. So, we so yeah, the scientists are talking about this. And after what I'm done talking here, please pay attention to what this woman is going to say, because it's going to get worse. If we're in the birth pangs, the birth pangs get worse and worse until the child is delivered. This is the comparisons that the Lord Jesus has given us. Then you can be assured that what I've been warning for all these years that we're seeing right now is going to continue but get worse. Now listen to what she says. You shouldn't expect this is the last record. This is by no means the last record. I mean, you really got to think of climate change as something that increases our risks for being unlucky. So we need to, to prepare up front as we move into you know, this warmer, hotter, more extreme world. So how do we prepare? Her advice, take stock of where you live and protect your home by doing things like becoming more energy efficient, getting a generator, possibly buying flood insurance maybe, and possibly even raising up your water heater if it's in the basement. And I know so they're giving you all these different things how to prepare. And let me show you the true way to prepare. That's through the acceptance of what the Lord has spoken to us. Our Lord died on the cross, raised from the dead to free us from bondage of sin and free us from a life without Christ. A life that if he didn't go to the cross for us, we would be destined to go to hell, the lake of fire to burn forever. But because of our grace in our uh, the Lord, what he did, He's made a way for us to come into his kingdom and to come out of the wrath that will be poured on this earth that we're now seeing the birth pangs moving up towards that tribulation where all of these signs will reach their max. So how do you prepare? You prepare by receiving what the Lord has given you today, receiving it and believe and have faith in Christ and ask him to forgive you of your sins. And make today be the first day that you walk with your Messiah, Jesus, Yoshia, who wants to save you and prepare you to be lifted off of this planet and brought into heaven. And then the climax of the last seven years before the Lord comes back will commence. I love you all. I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will guide you to the truth that Jesus has shown you today. This is Frank Demora.